Um, yeah, I don't even know what to say. The boys have busted their ass um, to get this thing happening. Hello, everyone. How are you? And um, Leith just hit the starter, got it turning over and all the rest of it. And then, um, yeah, this just happened. Yeah, there's a milkshake coming out the air cleaner. The boys have busted ass this week to have this thing ready. And it was a good motor as far as I knew. And it's, um, yeah, done head gaskets or something to mix. Dudes, I just don't even know what to say. So that's sort of, um, it's, Leith just said it's more than the head gasket. You can see, yeah, there must be a crack in this block or something. So, bugger. Alright, well, yeah, guys, that was, um, yeah, morning, guys, what's going on? Hey, just, uh, yeah, so, we just, I just got here, um, the boys have busted their ass to get the motor into the hovercraft, um, and, yeah, look, it, it, he hit the starter just before it went bang, it started, he shut it off, and then, um, yeah, it's mixing water and oil, so we might drop the water out of it, Leith, and see what it's going to, and just, Run, run it anyway. Just to see if the fan turns. Hey mate, um, I don't love your videos. Friends, watching videos. No worries, dude. Um, the I can't quite read the comments, guys. I'll go in here so I can see in the sun. Well, you're welcome, dude. Um, I hope you enjoy the videos. Yeah. So, captain sitting in his um captain's chair. See how happy he is? He's not happy at all, which I can understand. They've busted their ass in the sun this week to get that thing going. Um, how's, how's our day been? Well, things just went pear-shaped just then, didn't they? Like, yeah. Yeah. We were so excited about this hovercraft and now the motor's rooted in it. But what do you do, eh? Um, you don't uh, buy hovercrafts. <laughs> on strike just about, eh? Like it's, yeah, he hasn't had the best weeks. And it's hot here, guys. It's absolutely stinking hot. But yeah, for the people that have just joined us, um, the boys have busted their ass on this this week to get that motor out and the other one in between jobs. Um, Leaf just hit the start, put water in it, just hit the starter, and we've got a milkshake happening straight out the carby. So that's, um, well, that's just how it goes, I suppose, guys. It's We don't stage this stuff, do we? And this is just what happens. It's just, you know, like we're not here to make stuff up. It's just... It's devastating. So Captain's not real impressed, to be honest, to say the least. We're both really looking forward to this. Like it did start and fire, and they had to, to get this done. The, um, like it wouldn't mount the same. All the exhaust had to be modified. The mounting, like it wasn't mounted properly to start with. Yeah, that, that doesn't mean that's the end of the hovercraft. It just means, it does apparently. Yeah. Oh shit! What do you do, eh? Yeah. Um. Hey, Red. What's going on, mate? Oh, it's raining and lovely. Thirteen degrees in northern Tassie. What a crazy country we live in. That it can be thirteen degrees in one part and about five million degrees where we are. Mr. Jack, thank you very much, dude. Um. Go go buy Captain a bourbon. Coke. I'll do that, mate. Thank you, Mr. Jack. I'll go buy him that on the way back. There you go, Lethe. You get yourself some bourbons and coke. Thanks, man. I need it. <laughs> I'll grab him that. He's actually watching um, Young Mia today. I've got dancing with um, Nera Lee. So Mia's going to play at Captain's on the big slide in the swimming pool, aren't you? Yeah, Dad. Who? Bobby. <laughs> you want to come and jump out of the sun, sweetie? What are you, what are you playing with? You're right, mate. You're not in trouble. You can play with that. Yeah, um, dump the water and run it, run it to the ground, pretty much. We'll do that in a second, once Letho's not the, as... The, the whole engine will be full of fucking water and oil, and then I'm going to have to drain all the oil out and put more oil in it. Yeah, it, it. it'll just hydrolock, like the way it is now, it, it probably is hydrolock now. Like it's, yeah. Um, and it's just going to make a hell of a mess and give us more work to clean up. So yeah, I can understand why you wouldn't want to do that. Um, join the Brizzy Watchers, you all all the time. Join the Brizzy Watchers, you all. I don't even understand what that means, Carl. I'm not very bright, mate, but I can lift up heavy stuff. 
Um, nothing you can do, mate. Just yeah, enjoy the trade, find something else to do. All that. Um, today will now be, who knows? I'll give you a bit of an update what's going on in here because I've been a bit MIA, guys. Um, I've got a few videos up for you. The Bedford, I've had no time to touch. The formula is sold. There's a bits and pieces to do to it um, before it goes. Um, one of our subscribers has bought it. I'm not sure if he wants everyone to know who he is, but when I talk to him, I'll let you know. The boys haven't had time to do anything on the rally tee. Out of the way, matey. Which is sitting here still from the other live. We haven't had time to do anything. We're just going to swap. Ben, thank you very much for the super chat, dude. Really, really appreciate it, mate. Um, uh, Jerry from Burwood likes... See you. Thanks, thanks, Jason Fraser. Um, oh, he's just and he's had a bad week, mate. It's just yeah. Leaf's had a fair bit of machine work going on this week. Um, don't know where he's ended up over there though. I don't really go into that area too much. The the wagon that we got, guys, um, that you saw in that last video, the manual VN wagon, is a swap deal for the kit off this Ute. So all this will be going. And, um, yeah, so once all that's off, we can obviously start putting it back together with everything else. So, um, yeah, it's, it's not the time for stirring, dude. Trust me. Yeah. But, yeah, other than that, just the usual jobs going in and out and parts and stuff. Um, yeah, well, today really didn't go to plan, did it, guys? Which is a real shame, but it's the way it goes sometimes, isn't it? It's just... Don't even know what to do and say. We had plans, but not now, eh? No, I think it's time to go home. <laughs> it, it is, yeah. It, we do get a lot of support. Um, the bus stocks, the boys are, um, we do have a good fan base, that's for sure. They are very, very supportive of what we do. Even when we have um, milky stuff coming out of our air cleaner. For the guys that have just joined us, the boys busted their ass this week to get the other motor into this, and it did start, but then it just milkshaked itself and spat stuff out there. It's the problem, it, it's a bad problem, like, when stuff sits, like, when that when we, that motor there, we started that, you guys saw that run in that um, white ute, there was a Brumby ute I had with the hole through the quarter, that motor's out of that, and it ran perfect and there was nothing wrong with it, we just couldn't get it into gear. And, um, yeah, it just sat for a while in the backyard and you go back to it, you think it's still fine, put it in that and bang, it's no good. So sometimes when you buy stuff from the wreckers and they say it's good, it was good. And as far as they know, it's good and it's just an issue. Um, the Buick swap guy, the problem with Buick swapping something like this is the weight. Okay. You got to imagine that the, um, we're going to have a look. So he wants us to see what's actually happened. Yeah, it's a, the motor's hydrolock now, and it's got water in the cylinders, guys, and she's rooted. So, yeah. Did you ever find the wheels? No, nah, the wheels not there. I didn't really. Yeah, yeah. So, to you, you can't put something like a Buick or a big cast iron block thing in this. It'll just be too heavy to lift it up. You've got to watch the weight of it. That's a one major problem with the hovercraft. Um, Take Captain for a run around the yard in the chair. Oh, Jesus. The whole, the whole rock tower is full of that. It's just pouring out, is it? Yeah, it's pumping out through the breeder into the air cleaner. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know, guys. It's going to be a pretty cool thing once we get it going. Um, there's a guy that was building these. You'll see in that video I put up late or early this morning. Um, yeah, he's going to help with the skirts and stuff when we get it going. It was just... We're pretty excited about this. We're a bit down right now, to be honest, but there's nothing you can do, guys. I was excited about getting it finished. I don't have to work on it anymore. <laughs> Jesus, it's hot out here. But yeah, I don't even know what we're going to do now, guys. We didn't. We planned to sort of play with that. We didn't really plan anything else and been thrown for a bit of a six. We've moved my wheel collection inside, though. That's what it's all about. But yeah... I don't know, guys. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> Not the best of live streams, eh, guys? Normally things go to a little bit better of plan than this. But, um, yeah. I am selling a few cars, though. If someone wants a VN, there's this one out here. I'm going to... Leith's up me because he doesn't have room to work. So I've got to get rid of some of my cars that I'm never going to touch. So this one here, it's not rusty. It's complete. Runs, drives, shitbox, but it's complete. Just a VN Auto. Um, what else can go? I may consider selling some HRs if someone's keen. But yeah, I'm going to go through and try and sell some stuff and make some room. Um, Drink beer, yeah. You, that'd be that'd be exciting for you guys just to watch us drink beer. It would get exciting if I start drinking again. Um, if it's possible, start the VN. Um, is it possible to start the VN? Use just got the VN we just got. Um, it's at my house. I didn't um I didn't bring it here because there's not room. It's I tried starting it yesterday, but the fuel pump is not working on the um on that vn i did piss about with it for a little while out there um that had an immobilizer sorted that out got it turning over but then just nothing so it but it, it's at home um there's not really room for it here yet so yeah um take us on a yard tour problem is the, the internet drops out there's not much that's changed really since last Yeah, um, there's, there's, there is a bloke coming to look at the hatch, a mate, but this Suzuki hatch, this runs and drives, guys, but this will be for sale as well. It's another one that can go. Yes, buddy, what's up? I want some food. Okay, we'll go get your food out of the truck. Hang on. This little Suzuki hatch, it's pretty tidy inside and that, but it's just, um, we're never going to get to it. It's just, it's just an utter pipe dream to think that we are. So if anyone's keen on that, just got to get in touch with the yard on um, Monday. Or Aaron will hopefully talk to me over the weekend. I'm just going to get some food for Mia, guys. We can play with the um, this buggy, Leith. We can put the dizzy in that, see if it'll run. Feels like I've got a prickle in my shorts or something. Whereabouts are you guys in Queensland? We are in... We are in Nanango, which is two and a half hours west of Brisbane. There you go, take it inside, don't make a mess. Too hot. Too hot? Yeah, we'll jump out of the sun, little buddy. Yeah, so we're in um, we're in Nanango, guys, two and a half hours west of Brisbane. Um, if anyone wants a four-wheel drive, like this thing here is tidy as, but just needs a flex plate, but we're not gonna touch it. Valiant's gonna go, that blue sedan. It runs now. I think it drives too. I'm not sure where they're at with it. So yeah, um, what's the captain been machining? How's your daughter's full drive going? Um, sell for the trip. It's together. Um, that bump bumper getting repaired at the moment. It's all back together. All the new front end and stuff's on. It's all yeah. It's ready to go. It all drives. Just got to do paint now and out the door. So. Unless someone wants it cheap, they can have it and paint it themselves. Yeah, just having our time, guys. Um, I used to live in Cumbia. Yep, Cumbia's, um, yeah, about an hour that way. Not too far away, it's, yeah. Um, take the yard tour, get the van going, mate. Do you wanna, it's just bloody hot here, eh? Do you wanna maybe put that Dizzy in that um, Volkswagen? Well, the starter's still not sorted, is it? I got to carry that yeah. We're just not set up, guys, for anything else to sort of happen. We were, we put all our eggs in the basket of... Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm going to turn that off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know, God. I'm just sweating standing out there. It's that hot. Guys, I hate to do it to you, but I honestly think I'm going to pull the pin. Um... Yeah, it just didn't happen. What a shame. And the boys did so well getting that done this week. JD will be wrapped. Um, all right, guys. Um, what happened to the Black Ford Courier? Black Ford Courier? Oh, the green one. Um, just got to put the head back on. The, uh, the head gasket was gone on it. 
and um, it's just sitting out the back here. The I think Leith has got a machine. The head we've got the gaskets and that there to put it back together, but she's still just here. It's just um, just got to go back together. It just we we just get busy, guys, and just it just yeah. Where did I get the wheelchair? The wheelchair is just stuff turns up in cars. You buy when you buy 10 or 15, 20 cars a week, stuff just turns up. Like you just, you, you find all sorts of crazy things in cars. Like I think, I think that come in and I can't even, it suits, me though, it? it suits him for sure. And those ramps were in it as well. Those aluminium ramps, they'll come in handy for something. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, what else we got? What's that? Practicing we're training Mia up and getting her strength up so she can push us around when we're old. Um, uh, do the wheelchair, Captain looks at, um, um, put some wheels on it. Put some wheels on, on the thing. Eh? What's the go with the patrol? Um, the patrol out the back had done a turbo. Um, it's now um, it done a turbo so we're just going to do some panel work on the doors on this side put a couple of flares on it the interior and that's really good in it the rest of it's good and it'll get sold we can't get the buggy going we haven't got the bits and pieces for it um i'd love to get the buggy going but it just won't happen herod um looks forward to the clips every week thanks brian i appreciate the support buddy um what are we waiting on for the diner a lot um just a case of getting back to it we just we plan on doing it on these saturday lives but then other stuff comes up and the only time that i get to do anything and play with anything is these saturday lives it's working out quite well for me that i do sort of get time to do something but um yeah the the diner sort of has been put to the side it will get done we will do it it just over time and then eventually someone will end up with it but it's just um just time guys like i, I do work and leaf does work full-time jobs. I work a full-time job and a half. Like I don't finish work till seven or eight o'clock most nights. And then I have to sit down and edit. Like it's just, we do the best we can guys. You know, like it's just, you're sort of along for the ride and at time the ride's a bit bumpy. Um, you know, but we do what we can. I'm right, just wondering, is there much in the way of UCF 31 Celsius LS? Nah, not out here, buddy. Um, we don't get that. We're, we're, we're out in Western Queensland, mate. That's more a coast sort of car down around the Goldie and Brisbane and stuff. Um, we've had one LS400 through, haven't we, Lee? I think in five years. But it was only a shell as well that someone had used as a um, donor. Um, all right, Luke, I'll give you an update. Um, what's the plans for the blue van? The blue van, the Bedford, um, I, I'm probably going to sell it. Um, but I've put another motor in it and the front end's sitting back in. I just haven't bolted it up and I've got to put a diff in it, maybe. And yeah, the rust has pretty well been done. It's had all new gutters fitted and stuff like that. So it is hard to get one of these vans that's not wrecked. I bought, um, I bought this one because, but I, because I couldn't find a good short wheelbase one. But I ended up finding a, well, it's not even a good short wheelbase one, but I ended up with a short wheelbase one. So this one can go and I'll build the short wheelbase one. Shopkingatowcrew.com shirts. Um, what did someone ask me? Okay, an update. Okay, so what's happened this morning, guys? Things have not gone to plan at all. The boys busted their ass this week to get this ready for this morning so we could start it up with you guys and have a play. The motor that we pulled out was running and it was good in the Brumby when it got parked out the back and hit the key and we have a milkshake coming out the carby. Um, so it's done a head gasket or cracked a head or I don't know guys to be honest I don't even know how that can sort of happen from what it was but so massive setback on the hovercraft it's not you know it's just just one of those things guys so now I'm sort of um, floundering a bit with no plan to do anything else so I don't know guys it's yeah what do you do but I did just get off it I've got this um I just had a mate here a minute ago and he has bought an F100 recently and he's got a tub. So I'll show you this F100 out here. Leith might have a new, um, Leith got his new car guys. If anyone did.
didn't see that video so this is going to get a rear mount turbo put on it it's a v6 petrol one he's pretty happy with that this come in the other day so it'll replace his rally ute which is going to be pretty cool um it is too i can see the windscreen but anyway yeah um this um f100 so but he said he has a for my f100 that i've got at home um he's got a tub i got this f100 or f150 in the other day just um yeah so if anyone's got one of these and they need some dana diffs and stuff like that there's got yeah but this is a long wheelbase tub i need a short wheelbase for mine and i got this because it's got a good tailgate and yeah but um it's been rolled over it's a shame because it's a fairly good cab like it's not rusty at all um there's no crank in that block which is a shame but yeah nothing really exciting's come in this week guys it's sort of just been a normal sort of week but yeah so hopefully doing a swap deal with the tub um the tub from my mate and he wants some big wheels for his so i've got some sun razors on mine and obviously i'm lowering mine on ford falcon ute suspension so yeah it'll be something different the cortina guys I don't know i just don't know i just i don't know if i'm going to build that guys i just don't have time and yeah um no it's a bedford um a 47 bedford there are some videos there on it guys um yeah leith's four wheel drive is going to be awesome like he'll get stuck into that soon as soon as he's got parts he's got a list there we just got to get him what's that sweetie yeah put your hat on please there, I've got a few of these 47 Bedfords. Um, this one still runs and drives, believe it or not. I've got to pull the gearbox out though. See, look at that. Mad. She's just an old beast. It's, um, yeah. I do want to get this on the road and drive it around a bit soon. But just time, guys. Just don't get time to do anything. It's just, yeah. She's a pretty cool old rig, but it's got the standard six cylinder in it. The motor had been rebuilt. But they didn't do the Welsh plugs in between the gearboxes. Um, so it sort of just, um, yeah. Yes, it is a V-Alt. So it got pointed out by someone. People just have to be the smartest person in the room. And it drives me mental. Um, it's a Statesman one, I think, because of that. See, the window's different, guys. But anyway. Yes, VN. As far as I'm concerned, it's VN. I've never opened this. I wonder what's... Yeah, it's just, there you go. It come in with um with my letterbox and that. Like, how cool is that thing? Bad. Yeah, um, hey mate, do I have any small block um, projects coming up? Just the Jag, really. There's no other small blocks at the moment. Small block Ford <coughs> we're doing in the F100. That'll come up soon. Um, <coughs> that's it, eh? Um, Two weeks. Two weeks. I have a Calo home thinking of doing YouTube. That's the go, dude. Just yeah, you just got to start, man. And yeah, um, the XRH just sitting out the front. We haven't had. Once again, guys, if we work on it, you'll see it. If you don't see it, we don't have time. It's that simple. Like if if I have time, the stuff gets done. If I don't have time, I work. Like I'm the same as you guys. Like I've got to pay bills. I've got to just work and pay bills. And all this stuff is playtime. It's not, it doesn't pay the bills. It's just, yeah. So if you don't see it, it's because it didn't get touched. If you see it, I'll put it up. Like, you know. Um, yeah. But anyway, guys. What do you reckon, Captain? Not much. Yeah, the VN would probably be better as a couch, I think, sitting in here rather than a barbecue. But yeah, that'll be someone to annoy him. Um, <clears throat> yeah, everything takes time. It's just, yeah, we just poke along. Like, this is just, I'd love to do YouTube full time, guys. I would love to just concentrate and smash out cars day in, day out. But my days are spent in that. So 12, 14 hours a day in the truck and captain does the best he can to get stuff done and the other boys do, but we've got to pay bills. You know, it's, um, yeah, why is he in a wheelchair? It's just the sort of day he's having. You're having a wheelchair day, aren't you, dude? 
You're having a wheelchair day, aren't you? Yeah. It's been a hot week, guys, and that just, um, yeah, other than Cletus, what YouTube channels do I watch? Um, Adam LZ, what do you watch, Lee? He doesn't watch anything. Um, Adam LZ and Cletus. Oh, did you see Benny's custom works got busted? Yeah. How's that? I can't believe... I honestly thought that they got that engineered back in the day when they done it. I'm positive that Marty Carmod said they... I, I, sorry, I'll, on Facebook last night at about 11 o'clock or something, I saw a post that had um, Benny's Crusita, that barrel one, and the coppers have busted him for wrong... Like, everything, basically. And, um, yeah, I, I honestly thought... It's, it's hard. When you do what we do, like, a lot of the cars... As far as I'm concerned, when we do stuff now, because we show everyone everything, we're going to do everything to a higher standard than well, we would have done it anyway. But I don't know. Like, I can't believe they didn't get that thing mod plated or anything like that. Like, it's crazy, eh? I suppose I would have been embarrassed to take something with a barra in it to show someone, wouldn't you? <laughs> Come on, guys. Don't hassle me. I'm only sk kidding. Um, I occasionally watch the Skid Factory. Um, it's not something I go to, yeah, it's, yeah, um, what's his name, Jimmy Oaks, do you guys watch Jimmy Oaks, he's, um, like, over there with, um, like, Adam LZ and all those blokes, yeah, Jimmy Oaks, and that Rice and Miata dude, he's a bit of, he's funny, he's a classic, he's, um, he, no, he's just, <laughs> and Semit, do you guys watch Semit, he's an Aussie guy, lives over in Japan, um, does a bit of drifting stuff, and, yeah, he's a different sort of dude, but he seems all right. Um, yeah, I, Boosted Boys, I watch, used to watch a bit, not so much now, sometimes, depending on what pops up, depending on what they're doing, yeah, can you start the VN out the back, the, oh, there's probably no battery in it, buddy, I wouldn't be able to get to it, but it, it just runs and drives, it's, um, someone was starting to set it up as a skid car, um, I used to watch a bit of daily driven exotics, but they've sort of lost their way a bit. It's, um, I can't even get to the doors. I can't even get, yeah, I can't even get to it, guys. But it's, it's not rusty. Oh, can't see it. It's not rusty. Some idiot, if you got some thinners and a rag, most of that stuff would wipe off. Um, the interior's all there. It's auto. Under the seat, it has a little lever that you can turn to shut the back brakes off. Do you want me to heat that up, mate? Okay. Oi. Yeah, you're scared of spiders, that's great. Give me that and I'll heat it up so you can eat it. Give it here before you wreck it. There you go. Yeah, um, I don't know, guys. It's too hot here today, to be honest, to do one of them. I'm not surprised Captain's sitting on his wheelchair. I'm jealous of his wheelchair. Do you like my seats? These ones here are going in the ute, guys. For the, um, I'm going to get the VN material. Now, you guys might be able to help me out. Who can help me out? I need the VN SS material to do my seats. I can find it on eBay, but it's like $350 a metre. Does anyone know where I can get it cheap? Message me. I need VNSS material for... Oh, there's no microwave here anymore. There you go. Maybe I'm not heating it up, sweaty. We'll have to, we'll have to do it at Captain's House, okay? So just put that back in your bag. When you go to Captain's House, that'll be your lunch. But there's no microwave here, okay? I'll have to get another one. Um... Um... Yeah, Sam, it's got that pink, bloody... I'm not big on pink cars. I won't even start on that, but yeah. Um, do you watch Grind Hard Plumbing? Not really. I've seen a couple of their things. Um, I don't know. It's not really... Yeah, Booster Boys are pretty cool. It, if Captain needs some happy pills, trust me, if he had some, he'd take them. Um, when you're old, you live on them. JDM Trust, KGM, JDM Heaven. Okay, I'll have to check that one out. How'd the VN Wags go? Um, it doesn't start yet. It's at my house. I didn't bring it over here because there's no room for it right now. We're having another clean out before Christmas. Going to do another scrap run, get rid of 70 odd cars. So we've got some room over Christmas. <clears throat> and it's time for me next week, maybe, depending on how we go for room. I might give him another week before I bring the Tirana over um, to clear some more room out. It's just hard, guys. We have... Um, limited room um build a pool for the boys cool down that's what we're doing this afternoon you'll see in the back of here 
Um, VNSN material will look awesome in those seats. They're nice seats, eh? Like, I'm very happy. Simo chucked them in on the deal when he, um, his TX3 is almost ready to go too, guys. Once that's going, we'll actually go down and see him and have a look what's going on. Oh, these are airbag seats. I didn't realise that. Christ, they must have been expensive. Wonder what they were out of, Leaf. Those seats to, to be these Recaros, they're actually airbag seats. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is my best mate, Mia. Hello. I just If you go talk to Captain, he'll cut that open for you, sweetie. In the back of Captain's new rig as Mia's, we found a um a BA Falcon come in and when we opened it up, you know those blow up jumping castles with big water slides and stuff like that? This was in the back. This, that there. So I've had it at my house for a while. Can you see it in the back there? Yeah, it's one of those big blow up jumping castle things. And there's an awning there as well. So, oh, look at Captain with his baby seats in the back. I never thought I'd see the day. Anyone that knows old Letho, look at this. Oh, Letho with his pink buddy. <laughs> yeah, anyone that knows Lee Day would be going, what the fuck's going on there? But yeah, um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. I've got dancing with my daughter. There's a, their concert on today. So um, Captain and uh, Naz, who lives with him, has a couple of girls. So he's got a swimming pool set up there and the jumping castle thing. And the girls are going to play today, which is going to be awesome. The Rodeo is looking good with the baby seats, dude. Yeah, I never thought I'd see the day, dude. Um, what do we got? Need an airbag seat for his wheelchair. That's it, eh? Um, uh, looks like Mark IV golf seats. Okay, cool. Um, they're pretty comfortable. They're pretty firm too, which I quite like, and they're going to look good in the ute. I don't know what I'm going to do with this ute though, because I haven't pulled it apart yet, but in the ute, it's got, um, uh, it's locked, but they put that big sub there, and I'm hoping they haven't cut the firewall. But, yeah. If, have any of you guys got... Hang on, we'll go out the back here. My mate that was going to help me with the Mazda never turned up, which happens a lot. Um, I'm going to start... We're going to... Has anyone got a motorbike? I need a road bike to chop up, a crashed one or something like a 1100 or a 1200. Because we want to put a motorbike motor in this. And then this will be a beast. Like it's too rusty to, I don't know. But anyway, we will, um, why is the exhaust manifold off that? Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So if anyone's got a motorbike motor, um, what's happening with the rally T? The rally T is sitting there, guys. Um, we haven't had a chance to touch it. The, um, we've got to swap the motor over. I still haven't brought the motor over from home to put in it. It's just, once again, time. Time. And it's hot. Um, did you find the four-wheel drive wheels? No, I didn't find the four-wheel drive wheels. We won't talk about that because it pisses me off. We've got some... Um, I'm going to catch the bastards and string them up. Don't you worry about that. So I've got half a plan. Yeah. G'day, mate. How are you? Okay, so what happened to the Rally T? Did you find the four-wheel drive wheels? No. Um, would you build a Santa car and get Captain to give out presents? <laughs> For one, I don't know what a Santa car is. Um, <clears throat> do you know how to peel that back? Did you peel the skin off or are you right? Yeah? Peel the skin off. Yep, so just get your finger there and peel the skin back, see? And then you'll be able to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite? I don't know. You'll have to just struggle through, mate. Okay? I'll see if I can find you a spoon. Yeah? You didn't bring a spoon with you? Yeah. If you cut it once more, get him to cut it once more, and then you'll be able to eat it. Sorry, guys. The struggles of being a pop. Um, looks like a VQ cut. Yes, I think it is. It doesn't... Does it really matter whether it's a VN cut or a VQ cut? Does it... It doesn't matter. Like... It doesn't matter. Who gives a shit? Like, come on. Um, did you find the four-wheel drive wheels? Um, doing a Cletus and going golf. No, no, we, we've been looking. You, if you look back at a few videos, we've been looking for a motorbike for a while to build that. Um, 
the SS50 as soon as, hey Nicole, how are you? As soon as this thing's gone, it has been sold. Um, a lot of the money from this, the reason I'm selling this is to get the SS50 back on the road. It needs, there's new control arms sitting just here on the shelf. There's an exhaust. Did the guy end up bringing that exhaust in, Lee? Uh, Did that exhaust turn up? The ute exhaust. The one with the mufflers, the swap for the... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, but the SS50, I, I want it back on the road. Um, yeah, <clears throat> but um, it'd be sad to see this old girl go, but at the end of the day, <clears throat> I will want to... Um, I want to register something else because obviously money's um, um, obviously money registrations cost a fortune. So I sort of register one car at a time, but I'll probably have this thing registered as well as I don't know. But yeah, but this thing would have just ended up sitting in my backyard, or just to sit in my backyard, and especially because it's ready to go. It needs. We're going to put a couple of unis in it. The throwout bearing's noisy, so we're going to sort that out. Um, that's about it. Other than that, it's pretty much ready to go. I'm going to put another SS lip on it for him because since the kangaroos and stuff, we never ended up... We just put another bar on it and then left it. I've got to remount the driving light from where that broke. Um, yeah, but it's, it's just good. I just like this thing. It just, it's rough, like, it's really rough, and you, but it's just... Yeah, everyone loves it. They, you, yeah, people, yeah, you can see where the kangaroo tail hit. There's stuff like that on it. The worst part about it is losing my wheels, but <clears throat> yeah. And I used a heap of parts that I had sitting around, like the cold air induction, the exhaust, and all these bits and pieces that I'd collected and put on this car, and my bonnet, and now it's all going. But anyway, the stuff will turn up again. What do you do, eh? Um, okay, the ute with a 1200 motorbike motor would be killer. Um, yeah, they're doing well with those golf carts. I'm looking forward to see how they end up. Um, we're not gonna run chain drive. We've got half a um, the reverse system, Leith's got a plan on how he's going to work it with an electric um, reverse system on it. Um, if anyone has or seen another really good setup for um, a motorbike motor in a car for the reverse, send some links to me so we can have a look at that and see if we can't fabricate something similar. But um, yeah, <coughs> it's, it's, that is Ben Kids Com 3 first. That doesn't, Leslie. That's that's it. Ben, Ben Kids, Com Three first. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, cool. Get the Ute going, mate. That's cool. Yeah. Um, Captain, how much is the Suzuki hatch? Eight hundred. There you go. Suzuki hatch is eight hundred bucks. Um, kids come first, and that's what they're saying. Yeah. No, nah, always. My kids are my, my world. My kids and Nicole come first over everything. Yeah, now this thing's not rusty. It runs and drives. Carb is a little bit of a tension. Um, but yeah, it's just cool. But we're never going to get to it. We did start putting wheels and stuff on it, as you can see. So it's got some wheels on it. I didn't even know that boys had done that. Does it got them on the other side as well? Yeah, it has. It's got a set of mags on it. There you go. Yeah, cool. There you go. She's a little beast. We're never going to get to it, guys. And it needs to go to someone before it gets wrecked from just sitting here. So I'm just starting to get a little bit more realistic about what's going on. And yeah, we'll hopefully someone else can get to have some fun out of it. And yeah, the ute's going to be awesome. Um, the guy, I've done that swap with um, me. Remember I told you not to leave your food in the sun and the water in the fridge, please. Come on. Yeah, so a lot of the stuff off the ute's going, so we'll actually get started on accumulating the bits and pieces to turn this into the SS. And yeah, but it's just coming up to Christmas, it's just hard, guys, but yeah, all right. Um, those Aussie racing cars use starter motors um, on the back so Yeah, I, I think we'll have to do something like that. We'll do some research and find a, a good heavy starter or something and, and go from there. Um, I'd like to use a Ducati motor, which would be really nice in it. Go Hard Plumbing Co, a motorbike turbo with a belt, um, belt to shaft. Well, we're actually, if you imagine the motorbike motor sitting sideways so your chains, you know, so we line it up with the, with the diff, so your tail shaft will come through and coupling straight on with like a Commodore, you know, the Commodore donuts to take out some of the vibration. 
mount that to where the chain is, to where the sprocket is, and then the tail shaft will run straight through. Maybe run a two-piece tail shaft so to take out a bit more of the vibration. And yeah, it'll just line up straight the way through with you know trumpets and that on it. Should be pretty cool. But that's half the plan. It's just it's another one on the list, guys. We're just gonna wait for a bike to come in. Um, love your old former. It's it is it is an awesome car, eh? Um, you're right, Leslie. I just struggle sometimes. Um, when I text as well, like this new phone, sometimes it just sends it off into the ether. It's crazy the stuff it does. The belt has turned up for my motorbike, guys that I swapped young Jake. And young Jake, if you're watching, get well, dude. Me, me mate, little mate, buddy, crashed his car and broke his leg, which is um, very, very disappointing. But um, he'll get it soon, I suppose. But yeah, just Jake, Jake, Jake. What are you doing, dude? But yeah, now this, I just gotta watch because the service might drop out out here, guys. Yeah, so I swapped this with Jake a while back, but it's always needed a um, the drive belt. So it's um, something different. I'm gonna build like a, um, a a motocross style bobber sort of thing out of it. You know, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it is what it is. And sometimes you end up with something that's a little bit different, and um, that's what you got to roll with, guys. So I'll um, get that. Hopefully this week, actually, I might get the get the um, what's the name on this and get it out and ride it and see what it's like. And then we can go from there. So there's my other bedford there. This is my short wheelbase. It's very rusty, so it'll go probably get sent to go get the rust done. I don't have time. <coughs> Motor seized up in it, it's just a six-cylinder holding in it. But it's it's really bad. It's another one of the tunners. The XR8's there. We did get this thing up and running and it runs and drives and it's really good. And we've got that new tray there for it. But once again, time, you know, what do you do? What do you do? There's the VL. Don't know what I'm doing with that. I don't know, guys. I did get this thing running and driving, sort of. But, yeah, I don't know. If you've ever seen anything in my yard that you want to buy, if anyone's looking for some pro a project, an old Holden project, I've got these FBs. It's got a 186 and a glide in it. Heap of doors, another shell. She's a pretty cool old rig, but it just... I'm never going to get to it, so yeah, it can go. I'm, um, yeah, anyone chasing jag parts, I've got them coming out of my ears. So yeah, I've, um, I want to get that hovercraft going and there's another boat. If anyone locally is looking for an old caravan, we've got that one there. We've, um, oh, Nicole, that's right. You wanted some um, cupboards, didn't you? So we've started putting a floor in this thing. So it's got a new floor and that in it. Started doing that, started doing the walls. But yeah, and there's those cupboards in the car. I don't know if you can see what it is. One's a set of drawers, and the other one's a meter base cupboard in the car. So yeah, I'll get them out and bring them home. <clears throat> I don't know, if someone wants to build themselves a something. Oh, the VL I'm not sure about yet, mate. I'll, I'll yeah. Um, g'day everyone on the channel. How are you, King of Toe Crew? We're good. Oh, hey, Jono, how are you, buddy? Everything's good, mate. The hovercraft is not good, though. Um, I'll give you an update again on the hovercraft. Now, we were supposed to be... Um, think, um, big fingers, little buttons. That's about it, eh? It's, um... All right, so, the hovercraft. <clears throat> the boys busted their ass this week, and I was so thankful to them for in-between jobs and out in the heat because it's been bloody hot here this week. They got another motor in this thing. The motor come out of a ute that was fine when I parked it out the back. Um, and um, mate, the only thing I'll be skidding are my undies. Um, and as soon as we hit the key, it just milkshaked itself and the motor's rooted. So the captain's not too impressed. So he's sitting in here in his wheelchair. It's not the end of the hovercraft. It's just the end of it for today, which is a real shame, but um, yeah, I was pretty stoked. The boys done well, but yeah. Yes, after this, mate. After this, it's swimming, okay? All right, Captain's all set to do it, and he's looking forward to playing with his Asabo. Yeah, I need a white VT fuel cap, any up that way. They're pretty rare. Mm, probably no white ones. Actually, I don't think we've got many at all. 
Best bet for part is in the description down below, you'll see one number for towing and one for parts. If you ring the parts number, you can't get a tow, but if you ring the towing number, you can get a tow. If you ring the parts number, guess what you can get, Lee? Uh, parts, that's right. So if you're looking for parts, you ring the parts number. If you're looking for towing, towing number. It's fairly simple, <clears throat> but if you don't understand, just give me a call and I can explain it better. Um, we need you to replace skirts on the hovercraft. Um, <clears throat> I think so, yes. Um, a video that just went up, well, went up about 2 a.m. this morning, um, and that's, <laughs> I had to edit it and put it up, and that's why they don't go up. Anyway, there's a local guy that rang me when he saw the first video go up to say he built these hovercrafts for 20 years, okay? Um, and then he said, look, I've got, there's another one just outside of town, a big four-seater that he's gonna G up with his mate that we can go out and see it and see how it works. And he said, we're gonna have trouble with those skirts, but he has the um, shopkingatowcrew.com merch shirts. Um, he does have the designs to put a better skirt system onto that. So first step is to get it running. Second step is to start on the fiberglass and do the skirts. It's gonna be a bit of a process, but I'm probably going to, um, what happened to the trailer hire thing? Um, time. Once again, just time. Like you, you, there's only so many hours in the day, and you can only get so much stuff done. Um, the new there's a new car trailer sitting at home. The horse float is is good. Girl. Make sure you keep your food out of the sun. The horse float's all painted up. I've got to do um, the awning's got to go on. Yeah, I've got an awning there to go on the side, and the water carter things have got to go on. And then I've got to redo this the boards that go on here with padding on them down both sides. They're got to be done and a new vent cover up here um and then it'll be happening but it just comes down to time guys you know when uh, you know the, i just spend time in that all day every day it's just how it goes it's um yeah um who's who's r32 skyline don't have an r32 skyline sorry i don't christopher um that's really upset. Yeah, John, what happens, buddy? It's just, it's cars, mate. It's just what happens, you know? Um, Red, can you let everyone know that PayPal is still not working, but can still use credit card? Okay, there's been an issue with PayPal because they're painful. Um, I've been using PayPal for years, and for some reason they need us to verify who we are, and they're dragging their feet. So if you go through on the merch site and go to buy something, um, yeah, you can use credit card details, go through and all that works. It's just the PayPal side of things isn't working at the moment. Surely they'll approve who we are. Like they've allowed me to use it for years. Like I, I still use it right now. If I go into eBay and use it, they'll still let me use my PayPal account, but they won't, it's, I don't know. Anyway, what do you do? Um, pickles in my undies. Um, good to see you still being you, bud. Um, Captain wearing King of Toe hat. Um, such a, <laughs> Oh, I might, um, we might get on with it, guys, because young Mia's pretty keen to go swimming, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah? You reckon? I think you are pretty. Hey, no toilet talk. Bye-bye. Yeah. Got to watch her toilet mouth, aren't you? You're the chief of toilet talk, aren't you? Not bad. Oh, I've got to stop it, apparently. Not bad, is she? She's me, mate. She couldn't ask for a better mate. All right, well guys, thank you very much for joining in today. I hope you enjoyed the hovercraft. It is awesome. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, um, bloody hot. We're gonna, um, I saw an SV89 in the city yesterday. Um, it had a massive cam and a five liter, um, not one dent in the body. I'm looking forward to next year to getting stuck into that SV89. It's just this side of Christmas, it won't happen, so yeah. Um, Thank you very much, Luke. Something just turned up that's V8. We might go have a quick look. Ah, don't worry, it's, it's a, some sort of forward thing. Yeah, all right, have fun swimming. Hoo, hooroo, hooroo. Geez, you're showing your age now, Mark. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you very much for joining in. Um, yeah, there'll be more videos coming this week. I don't know what I've got planned, to be honest, but um, it was gonna be, it was gonna be hovercraft. But obviously that didn't, there we go, there's a VT, white VT um, fuel cap right there. Is it? Oh no, it's a VN, VS one, sorry. Yeah. All right, um, 
All right, thank you very much, guys, for joining in. Um, subscribe, like, sister. I don't know what other stuff I'll carry on with. But anyway, all right, see you.